Ladies and gentlemen, happy Motivational Monday and happy Tuesday to our Australian people. Mm. We can't forget International them. date line. I know, I'm telling you. So it's already Tuesday down under, but uh, it's Monday here. It's a little later, but we're getting it done anyway. I am here with the one, the only, G Money. What up? What All up, right. What up? So. G has been inspiring me basically this entire year. Uh, pretty much before the end of last year, he gave me a call mm -hmm. and was like, I want to make some changes in my life, and uh, I'll let you kind of go ahead and set the tone. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I basically just made a decision that I wanted to lose weight, which was a decision that I've made many times before, but I, I was just never really too serious about it. Um, they call it yo-yoing, mm. where I lose some weight, I'd feel good about it, and then I'd slack off and just gain it right back. So called Beef and uh, just got some ideas mainly. I already knew kind of what I wanted to do, but just to get some pointers and stuff. And, you know, finally I did stick with it and, and dropped weight and uh, dropped 80 to 85 pounds this year. So it's That's definitely, incredible. definitely changed my life. I feel a lot better, um, you know, getting more looks from the honeys. There you go. Which is always good. <laughs> I don't know if they're, you know, good looks or not, or maybe it's just my forehead's still big. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, no, it's it's been really good. It's 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 changed my lifestyle, and um, I'm really happy I did it because health wise, I, I was I was not in a good place, um, and I'm still young, so you know, I had to make a change at some point. Yeah, absolutely. So, what was like the deciding factor that made you like you said you were yo-yoing in times before, but like what made you like, okay, I really do want this transformation to take place. Man, I don't think I can really pinpoint it. I think it was just over time, I just decided that, you know, the only way I'm going to be able to do this is if I actually stay consistent with it. Mm -hmm. And so it's just multiple things like health and everything. Like I said, you know, I'd be walking to class and I'd be, I'd be hurting. Yeah. And so it's, it's, a, it's a physical thing too. Like it ain't, and walking to class isn't a hard thing to do, but knees and legs and everything, my back would start hurting. I'm like, dude, this just, this isn't good mm -hmm. and you know i've had talks with you know my parents and things like that you know health wise on down the road you know try to avoid any complications there it would be best to lose some weight uh, but yeah i'm kind of i've lost more weight than i originally planned on losing so. that's amazing so like what was the initial goal well i was um 282 on new year's day this, this past new year's and I want to get down to 220. That's kind of right, right around where I was in high school. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to go to 220, and I got there, and then I, I talked to you on the phone, and Dad actually quotes you all the time. He's, I was like, man, I don't really know. You know, I'm kind of content with it, and you're just like, dude, why don't you just go for 200? And I'm like, why not? You yeah. <laughs> so, so that's kind of where I'm floating around right now. I kind of, I was down to 197. Wow. Um, but with Thanksgiving and everything, I've kind of threw the diet out of the window, just temporarily, you know, special occasions and stuff like that. But we're going to hop back on it. But yeah, I'm floating around 200 right now, so I'm around 80 to 85 pounds. Dude, that's amazing. And yeah. kind of like, what, what would be your tips to like someone that's looking to make a change in their life or just really basically like taking things that they know they're doing that they probably shouldn't be and they just want to make a step in the right direction? Yeah, so I'm, I mean, I've... In my mind, it's two words that I, the only time I've ever been successful is when I'm consistent and when I'm disciplined. Mm -hmm. So you know, when I say that, you know, that literally means you got to be very disciplined because I, I went to the gym back when I was, you know, 280. I was going to the gym still three or four times a week, if not more. Yeah. But, and my diet was decent, but it wasn't always 100%, which is why I always kind of floated and never really lost too much weight. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, if you're going to do it, do go all in if you're actually serious about doing it and i mean the, the keto and intermittent fasting kind of does the work itself to be yeah. honest i mean it's, it's obviously not long term but i mean as long as you just set a goal and actually stay consistent with it i think that's the most important thing mm -hmm. that was for me at least so awesome and what's your kind of vision moving into the next year now well i graduate in a couple weeks from ut so i'm hoping to send out some resumes <laughs> Boom. Maybe get a job. Okay. Somewhere. Um, if not, I'm I'm not opposed to where I'm at right now. Maybe moving up with the company I'm at. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, just keep going, keep moving onward, man. Yeah. You know, I, I've had a lot of things kind of go up in, as I like to say, ever since I've kind of started to make changes in my life. You know, I've 
Yeah. You know, the entire lifestyle's changed, so yeah, I'm doing bigger and better things than what I was doing. So. Well, that's awesome, man. I'm just so proud of you and like, just t staying focused on that goal and committed to what yeah. it is day to day to make it to that dream that you've had. And, yeah. And how does it like that you've accomplished these goals physically? Mm -hmm. Does that kind of excite you to be like, well, dang, I already exceeded my expectations. Like once I graduate, the world's wide. Like you kind of have yeah, like exactly. a I'm not, different I'm not, vision for it. I'm not going to be tentative on actually, you know, going for it. I yeah. guess I should say. Uh, a lot of people say shooting your shot, and, and that can be used in different facets. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to think, man, I I don't think I can do that job because I I don't I don't look the part or anything like that. I'm just you know short little fat kid and that's just not really what I you know I don't think people would respect me so now that's out of the window I don't even have to worry about that just ripping labels off I'm yeah. still short and with a receding hairline but you know hey that's <laughs> but that's alright but like I said you know it's, it's giving me a lot more confidence so you know I'm from moving forward you know I'm just gonna keep going for it so uh, in, in, in different facets of life not just the weight loss mm -hmm. so yeah Awesome. Well, we're just so proud of you, man. I mean, we've had these conversations before, but just to see you now, like finally see you in person, it's been like yeah, almost a year, so I'm just hyped to see you. But uh, yeah, dude, I just appreciate to see it. You, I like... would be more lively, but I just got off of work. <laughs> work it's all, all day, good, eight man. to five, man. Yeah, so. you're crushing it. So, um, so yeah. Hope this inspired you guys. Uh, follow Instagram Rowan. This dude's an absolute Instagram legend, Rowan. and uh, he's got all the football updates from the different high schools in the county. Yeah, so dude. Tennessee. State championships are this weekend. Oh, snap. Are you going? For football. No. Oh. No, we're not going. Me and Dad, <laughs> me and Dad are hanging out. Um, but yeah, if you're referring to that, to let them know what you're referring to, me and Dad are trying to go to a game in every county in the state of Tennessee. Um, very optimistic in that regard, but me and him have fun with it. It's something cool that I can do with my dad. and. We keep up with the uh, with the games and the athletes that come through Tennessee and eventually go on to do bigger and better things. We think it's kind of cool. So, so yeah. Heck yeah! Hit sewn into your physicality, sewn into your relationships, mm. sewn into your mindset. So, uh, I just encourage you guys. Happy Motivational Monday! You double A.